Hi, I'm Kristen Grady, Marketing Director at NSR, and I'd like to introduce you to NSR's NCAT, our non-geo constellations analysis toolkit. I will also walk you through a demonstration of how the NSR NCAT works. NCAT is an assembly of flexible and easy to use quantitative models that x-ray and benchmark non-geo satcom constellations. Constellations populated with thousands of satellites are being deployed in both LEO and MEO orbits. These constellations, beaming tens of terabits per second, can transform our industry, making it vital for key decision makers to have the ability to visualize this impact at a granular level. NSR's NCAT provides this capability. NSR has developed nine configurable tools utilizing data collected from 27 Constellation shells, both granted and in-process FCC applications, in order to evaluate each HTS Constellation. The NSR NCAT gives you the opportunity to add additional information from your internal database to evaluate each HTS Constellation and simulate possible future modifications or other Constellation initiatives. Now let's explore Tool 2 of the NSR NCAP. Tool 2 allows the extraction of world maps displaying the constellations, satellites, and orbital routes. This can be done at the individual shell level as well as for the complete full constellation, combining shells with different orbital characteristics. Again, all inputs are editable, so changes in shells drive tool output. As an example, Let's say we want to visualize all SpaceX Starlink Constellation shells filed with the FCC that use KU and KA bands. We simply select the five Constellation shells planned by SpaceX, and the tool will generate all Constellation maps, which we can view individually or combined in a map with all shells fully deployed. SpaceX recently requested a modification from the FCC in the Shell 1 constellation, tripling the number of orbital routes while keeping the total number of satellites constant at 1,584. To display the scenario, we simply modify the number of satellite planes and satellites per plane in the input table, and both the individual shell map and the full constellation map automatically reflect those changes. Remember, since all inputs are editable, not only can we visualize existing initiatives with Tool 2, but we can also simulate other deployment scenarios. So, let's say I want to quickly simulate a LEO satellite constellation with the following characteristics. Altitude, 1500 kilometers. Orbital inclination, 50 degrees. Number of orbital planes or routes, 10. Satellites per orbital plane, 12, and minimum antenna elevation angle, user terminals or gateways, 25 degrees. We can call it My Leo Constellation. Put the architectural characteristics in the input table, select it, and have it displayed by the tool. It's that simple. As you can see, the NSR Non-Geo Constellations Analysis Toolkit is easy to use and meant for both business and technical professionals alike. NSR uses it internally to holistically assess LEO and MEO HTS constellations in support of research studies and consulting projects. Thanks for watching, and please contact NSR if you're interested in learning more about the NSR NCAT.